trick or treat, motherfucker. No, God, please, no, no! What is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks and today's video is another Michael Myers mask unboxing but before we get into that I want to ask you guys today's question and today's question is will you be going to see Halloween in theaters when it comes out on October 19th? I feel like the answer on this is going to be pretty unanimous but just in case there's some people out there that aren't going to see it let me know down below why you won't be going to see it. Obviously I'm going to be going to see it the night that it comes out and I can't fucking wait so will you be going to the theater? October 19th to see the new Halloween film. Why or why not? Let me know down below and let's get on with this unboxing. So in today's video we are unboxing a mask from arguably the worst Michael Myers film in the entire Halloween franchise. Personally I would probably watch this one before I watched 6 and before I watched H2O. H2O is just fucking boring and the portrayal of Michael Myers is a mess and Halloween 6 is full on garbage. Everything about that is like a hot turd. So as bad as this film is at least Michael Myers looks like Michael Myers and acts like Michael Myers. Pretty much everything about this film is terrible, but I do gotta say that I enjoy the mask. I definitely think that it's at least intimidating. And at this point in the franchise, I feel like this is what one of those plain white masks would look like in the stores. So if Michael was gonna snag one, I feel like it would probably look like this instead of the drugstore Kirk from Halloween 4. Just saying. So I know the film gets a lot of flack, but I do have to have this for my collection, so let's go ahead and unbox it. This will not be the mask that is in my set for very long. This is just kind of a placeholder because I actually have a Cinema Secrets on the way that I'm I'm going to be having repainted and rehaired. I've always personally liked that sculpt more than the Tots version, but I got a really good deal on this from a friend, so I decided to snag it and just use it as a placeholder. So that's what we're gonna do. So here we have the Trick or Treat Studios Halloween Resurrection Mask. Not a bad mask, not a bad replica, especially for the $40 that I paid for it. Uh, with a repaint, these things can look unreal. If you go full on rehaul and do the hair and paint, they look really, really good. But I still think that the Cinema Secrets has the better mask. If you can get that one rehauled instead, it is by far superior. This one is cool. It just doesn't look as mean as the one in the film. When I think of the film, I think of certain scenes. And uh, he looks pretty fucking mean in that movie. So this one just kind of looks... Uh, Okay, it just doesn't look as mean as it should. But I think this will be all right for now, just as a placeholder. That's all this is gonna be. I'm not gonna treat it like anything else until I get my Cinema Secrets in and can have it rehauled. I'll probably end up giving this one away in the future or something like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time talking about this one. I would rather put that time and information in the video of the Cinema Secrets once I get it back because I think it's a superior mask as I've said a million times in this video, just a placeholder. So we're gonna go ahead and stuff it, display it, show it off, and uh, let you guys take a nice look at it, and that will be today's video. I believe that we have one more Michael Myers mask in the Halloween series, and I am going to unbox the full set of Trick or Treat Studios H3 masks down the line, so I can have one unboxing for each film in the franchise. And then uh, if you guys want me to get a K&B from Tots and maybe have that rehauled too, I can probably do an unboxing on that. I just never really counted that as a Myers mask in the set because the Winston mask was always the one used in H2O for the most part. So plus I'm just not crazy about the K&B, but if you guys want me to get that one in, let me know. I'll go ahead and order it and do an unboxing on it. But for now, we're going to take a look at this Trick or Treat Studios Resurrection. I hope that you guys enjoyed and we will see you later. Let's go on a journey. A journey. Let's go on a journey, a journey through all time, a time that's changing all the time, it's time to go to time.